it's so sunny here in Calgary. It's 7 30 p.m. at night but the sun is still up and that is a sign of spring. What's up everybody? Today I'm going to share with you a collective haul video. So most of these products are drugstore products and they're very very affordable. There are some products that are not from the drugstore. They are not high-end either. So if you want to know where I get my affordable makeup, then keep watching. The first one I got is Maybelline Superstay Foundation in the color True Beige. Then I got this Maybelline Matte Poreless Foundation. I got this True Match Foundation in Buff Beige Neutral. So I got these three. So in case you're wondering why I got the warm, cool, and the neutral undertone, I have a video coming up about how I found my right foundation shade. I got this one too. A BB cream from the face shop in the color buff beige and then I got Sephora oil free foundation so these are the ones I got so you might be wondering why I got lots and so that video will answer that question the next product I'm going to show you is also a foundation is a mineral powder foundation from bare minerals and I will I will talk about it more in my foundation video. This one is really nice too. It's from Rimmel London Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder. Then moving on, I got lots of masks from the face shop. It's $2 and if you buy 10 pieces, they will give you 5 pieces more. So it's for revitalizing, radiance, firming. Um, my skin is really aging. I need to take care of my skin a little bit more. And I got brightening. I don't know why I got this one, but I got this. And I got lots of for pores. My pores are getting really, really large. So I got that. And then the next product is also a mask, but it's a hand mask. It's It looks like a gloves, I think, because it says it has one pair but soaked with moisturizers and all good stuff. So I got this one because my hands got really, really dry, frequent washing, because I work part-time at the pizza store. And plus the weather here in Calgary is really, really dry. So I got this one because this color is all over the internet and <laughs> they look so good on those girls. I know it's really trendy right now, but I can't pull it off. Yeah. Too bad. The search for that perfect brown continued. I got this Wet n Wild Bear It All lipstick. Kathleen Lights mentioned about this one and so she made me buy this. It looks very, very beautiful on her. Moving on to the next one, I got this Maybelline Color Blur Lip Studio. And it's also cream matte pencil, but it has a smudger on the other side. Neon is so yesterday, so 80s, but I don't know. Um, I, I love it. I like using this one in the, in the inner part of the lips and, and like smudge it or maybe wear something light on the other part. Or maybe wear this all over and then smudge it to create a gradient look. I got it on sale too at Superstore. Really a good deal. Moving on to another lip product is this. I got this one at Shoppers Drug Mart. It's really, really pretty, but I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I should have gotten the darker one, maybe the purple one with kind of reddish color, like a vampy kind of color. A yummy, yummy color, but I look like I'm a dead person when I wear this one. So I probably will make this as an eyeliner. I don't know. That's that. And then I got this one too from Milani. It's like, it says lip liner and line filler. So I used this one for a little bit and I don't like it. I don't know, maybe there's a way to use this one or maybe I will moisturize my lips a little bit more because it didn't do anything. Moving on to the next product is this Essence XXXL Shine. So it's like super, super, super shine Essence lip gloss. So this one is a also another Essence Super Fine, Super Fine Eyeliner. And see, it's really, really good. It has a felt tip. It's, I think, $2.99 or $3.99. I'm not so sure. I'll put it in the description section. 
but if you do this like it doesn't it stays on the lid until you take it off so that's that and then I should have included this one in the lip category but um, I got this one for mainly for the lid so this is Maybelline color tattoo in 55 ink in pink the first time I used this one I put on an eyeshadow primer I don't know what I was thinking it doesn't blend with this at all this one is I think already a primer it has a cream consistency I think everybody knows about this one I don't buy new products because I don't want to pay the full price I also got this one very very cheap at shoppers been really really out long time ago I think they already changed their packaging but this one is Laurier infallible smokism smokism me smokism I don't know how do you pronounce that but yeah it is the I like you know like apply it like this and then smudge it like roll it like that and it looks good see it, it has a smoky effect already three dollars and 24 cents at, at superstore always go at the back of the store you always find good deals there I think the, these are pretty colors for spring kind of look I think the only one I like is this one so yeah um, I got this one mad or matte the first version the next category is beauty tools but a lot of people talk about this one and I am the last one to get this but yeah I got these finally but I don't really like it like just like a lot of people are talking about they said they love it I don't like it like this one I don't know is this a buffing brush but I don't know I like my beauty blender better or maybe the the beauty sponge the one I like though is this still spot essentials i discovered about this brand when i bought this at walmart it's still spot essentials when you buy this one it's like six dollars at walmart and this one's i think almost five dollars or more four dollars so might as well get the sets only ten dollars so i got three this these ones are essence um this is very very cheap it's like a dollar 99 at shoppers and this is so comparable with my MAC 208 angle brush. I am so picky with my angle brush because I like it really, really thin and really, really small because I want it to be precise with my gel eyeliner. I don't want it anywhere too thick. I want it really, really thin because as I said, I have rounded hooded eyes and I don't want it to make it any bigger like this I want it bigger like that so yeah that's why I love this but I found an alternative because I only have one and I don't want to buy any more because this is like 17 bucks I also got BH cosmetics eyelash applicator like see eyelash applicator and I think it's originally six bucks, but I got it for I think two or three bucks US dollars Then I got this eyelashes It's a Kuo Lashes Boutique And it has five sets of eyelashes I got it for 15 bucks at Shoppers Drug Mart Because they have, they have this one on sale When you buy a Kuo Lashes, it's like eight bucks a pair So when I do the math 15 bucks plus tax it's only like three dollars fifty cents each pair when you are shopping for makeup or any products at shoppers drug mart go there on thursday friday and the weekend yeah so that's the end of my collective haul video i'm also trying out my new mirrorless sony camera um let me know if you like it if you like the the quality of it just let me know um, I don't know the right setting for this one yet. I'm still playing with it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some tips on how to shop for cheap uh, makeup. I know you won't be the first one to get the new ones if you are like me, waiting for sale or waiting for good deals. But 
it doesn't really matter, right? So that wraps up the video. I hope you found something helpful. Thank you so much for stopping by. Until the next time. Mwah, mwah.